the fire of motivation, the fire of trying to achieve something for a better version of yourself is something that if you practice it long enough, you can recall it. Because you have that fire inside of you. Strong mind goes together with strong body. I think there is a similarity with it. Because you cannot reach to have a strong body if there is not the fuel behind it that gave you the push, the motivation to do so in order that you finally develop in that direction. If you're struggling right now and you're having a hard time and you're pissed off and you're frustrated, know two things. One, you're not alone. Two, this is necessary for you to get where you want to go. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. And you need to remember that. When it feels scary to jump, Ian, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life, and that I can't do. What do you do when you don't have people to turn to? What do you do when you don't have the support system you once had? What do you do when you feel like you're less of a person because of the struggle you're in and if you told people they would look at you oddly? What do you do when your pride is at stake? What do you do as you stop living on pride and you start digging inside? Start to believe that the same way you got in this hole, there's a path out of it. The work it took, the things that, that happened that brought you to this situation are not greater than the skill set that is within you. What does you have in your hand? If you dug yourself into a hole, you still have your hands. Put your hands to work, put your faith to work, put your heart into it. The same way you dug your way into the hole, you can take that same path out of the hole. Which is, use what you have. And a lot more people have pain, a lot more people have anger, a lot more people have shame. And if you can use that, as your gas in the beginning, you'll eventually get to a point where you can get out of that loop and then find something that you are really passionate about. But if you can't tie your shoes, you can't lift the weight, you can't send the DM, then you have to start with whatever you have. You worry about something that someone did to you years ago. You're being a pussy to yourself, man. You're not getting out there and squeezing that fucking soul out every day. I ain't got time about you, man. Because tomorrow, I gotta go back to the grind. And tomorrow, I go back to the grind again, and again, and again, and again. I don't have time to put you into the hate bank. There's no hate. It's all filtered out, man, through the grind. If there is something that you can, to 100%, adjust and control in this life, it can only be yourself. If there is something which is 100% in your control, it must be yourself. What else should it be? And so if you think there is a possibility to master something, to take responsibility of something, then I think it is, it must be related, first of all, to your being. You know how you got there. You know the situations, you know the circumstances, you know how it began to overwhelm you. Since you know that, put the knowledge to use. Stop being afraid of it. Don't create this monster that you think that you can't face. The idea of going broke, if you've been broke, you're at the bottom. If you're at the bottom, you can look up. And if you can look up, you can get up. And if you can get up, you can stay up. And if you can stay up, you can climb up. And if you can climb up, you can create a platform. And if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself, dude. You're cheating your family. You're cheating your whatever you're a part of. It's bigger than you, man.
short-term thinking says one workout doesn't matter. I, I can skip it. Short, short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run. The further from the path you will stray. Decide to live your fantasy. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands, satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. Your dreams are just around the corner, but you gotta get out of the nightmare. You see, the greatest thing that you have is you. It's the tool that God gave you. There's not one person that you look up to, not one, that gets up every day and says, this is fucking amazing. I can't wait to do this. No matter what they tell you on social media, they still have bad days. They still have days where they want to do something else. The difference is they don't because they're committed. You can be the person who's committed. You can be the person who says, this is going to fucking work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm fucking doing this. Those are the people that are gonna win.